I think that uh, from a rental housing perspective or from a, from a housing perspective, there's a you know, huge deficit uh, in France generally. Uh, the biggest gap are obviously around the larger cities and uh, Paris is you know, first among those, but uh, it's also the case of uh, other cities around uh, France, including uh, Marseille, Lyon and others. Um, clearly the, the, the deficit today, if you think about, let's take just Paris only, you've got about 200,000 units that are, miss that are going to be missing over the next 10 years. Uh, and that gap is actually even bigger for uh, students, which is a, a topic that we focus on as well. We're talking about 250,000 students, uh, uh, units for students that is, uh, that is actually missing over the next 10 years uh, for Paris only. So to put this in background, we've, uh, we've opened the office in Paris six months ago. Uh, so we're still very much in growth phase. Uh, what we've done uh, is really build a pipeline of development uh, opportunities. We're talking about probably around 5,000 beds already in the pipeline uh, to be able to develop those over the next three years. And what we have uh, as well is really grown the office. So we started with two people six months ago. Uh, we're now close to five. We're gonna be 20 by the end of Q2 this year. Um, and and our, you know, our plan is really to be uh, in France over the long term uh, with a stable and, uh, and uh, very much you know, staffed uh, team, assets, uh, and partners uh, locally. I think you know it's not as much it's not as much effectively right now uh, uh, existing challenges. I think that what I'm looking for with the interaction with cities and authorities um, is to have an open dialogue with uh, their goals, their constraints, uh, working with our goals and our constraints, and effectively finding a path to effectively help. Uh, each of those authorities, you know, build better cities with our help uh, and for them to help us also build better businesses.